Hello there. Uh, welcome to another X Keys Five Minute Friday. Uh, I, you may notice I'm missing my co-host this morning and my TD Miranda. So I hope you'll forgive me if I'm switching myself here, and uh, got, I'm sure I'll make a few mistakes along the way. And you'll see me glancing over at the board, which I hate to do, but there it is. Uh, let's let's quick show you our uh, live streaming setup. And we upgraded to VMix Pro 22, and this is our debut on Facebook. Uh, for the first time, we're streaming live to both YouTube and Facebook. Let's see the uh, important stuff. We're using our uh, PTZ Optics USB 20X camera uh, via USB 3.0 from our, our buddies over at PTZ Optics. The new x mouse mat, which is doing admirable service. We got... Um, uh, comments coming in via our, the Kindle Fire and VMix Social. Although I see I'm, I'm not getting Facebook comments. Still need to do a little troubleshooting there. Uh, most important thing is you see my hand over this beautiful X Keys XKE124 T-Bar with the uh, sw uh, video switcher key set on it. Let's see, where am I? Here, here I am. So uh, today I'm happy to bring on a special guest, Mark Ellis. And he's created a an app for X Plane using X Keys, uh, and uh, I'm going to let him tell you about it because he can do it better than I can. Hi Dan, how are you doing? Hey Mark, I'm so, so glad you took time to to join us today. Um, give us a, a little uh, pitch on uh, on what uh, X Keypad is all about. Excellent. I'd be happy to do that. So, um, you know, a number of months ago, I uh, started getting a lot of requests from my customers to develop a generic uh, flight sim console, something that they could use uh, that was more physical to control their flight simulation experience. And uh, as I started looking into it, um, I had uh, one of my customers say, hey, you should look at these X keys devices. He actually had one and he was using it just as a, sort of a generic keyboard. Um, so I went ahead and I bought one and I took a look at it and I said, oh, my God, I could really do some amazing things with this using the SDK. Um, and what we ended up doing is developing uh, an advanced driver for X keys devices that interact uh, basically connects with X plane. And with this advanced driver, uh, you can control uh, a, just a multitude of uh, simulator operations, as well as being able to control the backlighting on each individual key based upon um, the states of different uh, systems within the, within the simulator, within the aircraft that you're flying. Um, we've got a number of customers right now that are using it and they really love it. Um, it's just a fantastic option for cockpit builders. Um, it's a way to extend their capabilities within their home cockpit. And uh, we have a little video Mark made. I'm going to roll that right now. Battery on. Avionics on. Com one set to one hundred and twenty three point six megahertz. Com one standby set to one hundred and twenty five point four megahertz. Transponder standby. Transponder on mode A. Transponder set to 5432. Transponder ident. Altimeter set to 29.98 inches of mercury. Heading set to 180 degrees.
Well, that gives us a nice little overview of the program. Um, you guys, if you want to learn more about it, here's the URL on our website, uh, and you can get the app and you can buy the keyboard from there. Um, Mark, thanks for coming on. We did our five minute highlights and uh, we'll do more detail and more um, Q and A in the post show. Be right back with you. Great. And we're back. So, you know, your view or your uh, video there just gives us a real quick overview of all the features in that application. I have, um, you know, there's a lot more detail on our site and it's kind of neat the way you have it laid out, Mark. I think um, you're using what's basically like an Excel spreadsheet to enter all the things that you want to do. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Uh, so you just use a common delimited file. Most people tend to use, uh, you know, either Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel to edit that uh, common delimited file. And uh, you know, in each line, you can configure each key as to you know what simulator operations you want to activate when you press that key. And you can uh, use logical expressions uh, within that line to determine. Uh, how you want the uh, light on that uh, key to light, either light up red, blue, or both, or do you want it flashing or not flashing, all based upon uh, variables within the simulator. And to even extend it further, uh, you can actually use a scripting engine like uh, Lua to actually add your own programming behind it. So the entire interface to your XKeys device is exposed to the Lua scripting engine. So uh, people have gone pretty crazy with it. I've got one guy, he has an XK80 in an XK60, and he's basically uh, uh, simulated or modeled an entire upper panel of a 737, you know, with those <laughs> two devices. So they're, they're, they're going crazy with it. Uh, we don't have any questions yet. We've got some, some interesting comments. Um, well, we do have one question. Uh, are the legends printed on transparent paper? How did you do the legends for that so one, Mark? So I've actually did uh, two techniques. Uh, one of them, when you watch the video, the very first uh, thing with the XK60, I did those on vellum, uh, vellum paper with a uh, uh, with a laser printer, a black and white laser printer. And I really love the way they look because uh, they show up really good during the daytime, but they also look fantastic uh, at night in the backlighting shows through very nicely. Um, in the XK80 sample you saw in the video, that one I, <clears throat> that one I did using transparency with a black background and the lettering comes through clear. And I simply had those printed at Staples on their higher end uh, laser printers. And they worked out really good. But I think out of my preferences, I like the vellum paper the best. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I've done some of that messing around with, with Legends. You're gonna try transparency and it just doesn't come out very well. The vellum kind of diffuses the light so that you get a more even back uh, backlight to it. Um, you sent me a picture that I want to put up right now. And you can tell us a little about this. So this is a, a picture of actually my own uh, my own personal simulator. And you can see that I've got uh, my XK80 is integrated with a, a bunch of other equipment here. I've got, there's some SciTech panels. I have a couple of Cougar MFDs that are uh, just over the top of the yoke. Um, and all of this really allows you to have a very tactile experience with uh, with the simulator. Uh, I pretty much can fly any plane uh, completely using the, my XK80 and the other devices. And I never have to use the mouse to go in and uh, fool with anything in the uh, in the virtual cockpit, which frankly I find uh, a real pain in the neck to have to use a mouse to, to operate uh, the simulator. So, um, and there are people there, they're just primarily using the XK, uh, XK's devices and they don't have anything else other than maybe a yoke or a joystick controller and a throttle. Um, so it yeah, works out it's really the simulations. They're so much more immersive if you can use a control that's much closer to what you would actually be using in that cockpit. Uh, who wants to fly a plane with a mouse? That's like oh yeah, it's, just, it's just miserable. No I don't fun. like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our buddy the brewer from uh, Germany is asking if you make one for a farmer truck simulator. 
<laughs> Not at the moment. I'm uh, I'm kind of a flight simulator explain guy, so that was the first thing that I did. Uh, I am getting bugged by a number of customers to do something for Prepare 3D and uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, so maybe I'll extend it uh, to doing that at some point in time. But uh, it's uh, it's getting quite a reputation. <laughs> you said Microsoft Flight Simulator. Is that coming back? Is there a new one, or is this the retro? No. It's uh, So what happened is uh, Lockheed Martin uh, bought the rights to use Microsoft Flight Simulator, and they've been oh. enhancing it, and they call it Prepare 3D. So I, I would sort of say that Prepare 3D is the next gen of Microsoft Flight Simulator. But uh, those are the, the three most popular simulators. There's FSX, Microsoft Flight Simulator, which has been around for many years, but it's not currently under development. Prepare 3D is uh, actively in development, and X-Plane has got a very extensive development being done on it at the moment. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm hitting buttons over here. Um, <laughs> I was checking out. I, I'm a little frustrated. I wasn't able to get the um, I was not able to get the social comments from Facebook to come across. So I was looking at our Facebook feed to see um, we really we just have a, a hello from someone in Italy who's watching it. Probably one of your flight sim buddies. <laughs> Could so, be. And what did Tommy say here? I have a friend in Virginia who has a one has one room set aside for his flight simulator. He has a screens and control like a cockpit. Well, Tommy, uh, you know all about X keys, so I'm I'm counting on you to contact this guy and tell him about this. Oh dear, I I made a serious mistake. I I called oh. him German and he's Swiss. <laughs> I I my apologize. I apologize. Um, Dedeker, if you could at some point send me the pronunciation of your name. Um, it's a cool name, and I, I'm afraid I'm slaughtering it whenever I try to say it. Uh, so, <laughs> more smart comments from our fans. Don't use the T-bar, Dan. That's for liftoff. Yeah, I don't want to fly <laughs> out of here, Rudy. Thank you. Uh, well, if you guys don't have any questions, um, did we cover everything, Mark? Was there anything else that we needed to cover? No, I think we, I think we got it uh, pretty covered. I mean, we, we demonstrated the uh, XK60 and XK80, but it actually works with uh, a lot of the other XKeys devices. Uh, those seem to be the two most popular ones uh, that flight simulator users tend to want to use is the XK60 and 80. Um, although I do think the new XKE40 could be another potential uh, uh, very popular device that uh, flight simulator enthusiasts might want to use with X keypad. Right. Um, I, there's, this is the web page on our site that the URL leads to uh, where Mark's got a more thorough video covering X keypad. And what do you know? You can purchase X keys. Uh, we made a little kit with our X keys and a backlighting mask for you to use uh, right there. So, um, I think we covered what we wanted to cover. Uh, you know what I always forget to say at these videos? If you people out there watching, please subscribe and like and help us build this following if you think what we're doing is is good. Um, if you don't, if then I don't know why you're here. So, uh, Mark, i uh, say one more time, thank you for taking the time to come on and tell us about X Keypad. And uh, I'll be talking to you very soon. Uh, everybody else out there, Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, next week, if all goes well, we'll have Tim Vandenberg from vMix on to talk about this new live streaming church giveaway that we're uh, involved with teaming up with our buddies at uh, Eastern Shore Broadcasting, PDZ Optics, and Maitwa in vMix, of course. All right. Uh, let's see. Where am I? I am right here. Thank you again, Mark. My pleasure. Uh, that's it for me and hope we see you next week. Thanks for tuning in.